Hello, my stamping friends, and welcome to Party at Home with Diane. I'm Diane, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Washington State. And look what I got. I have some products from the new mini catalog. It says July to December, but it'll actually run August to December. And the new celebration catalog, which will run August 3rd to September. Are you ready to see what I got? Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell so you get updates when I release new videos. And all through July, I am going to be doing Christmas in July videos. So let's get ready for Christmas and get our Christmas cards out of the way so we can enjoy Christmas. So let's get started, see what I got. So I already opened my box so you wouldn't have to see me like open it and pulling all the stuff out, all the, the packaging out. But here is the new Celebration Catalog. Now I can't show you what's inside of it, but I can show you goodies that are inside of the catalog. And I am so excited because some of them are so darn adorable. You just don't, you just don't know. And here is the new mini catalog. Here's the cover, so you get a sneak peek of what will be on the inside. But again, I can't show you, So, but I can show you products. I'm so excited, so let's get started. Look at it. I have this box now. I'm not Richie Rich, and I can't afford to buy one of everything in the catalog to show you guys. I have to be thrifty. And you all know, I like my bang for a buck. So anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna move this off to the side so I can, so again, here is the new mini catalog and I am so, so excited. Sorry, I'm just like peeking to make sure everything's in the, the camera. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with the celebration. <coughs> oh, one of these days I'll stop coughing. So in the celebration, what that is is for every $50 in your order, you can pick a, an item for free out of the Celebrations catalog. And there are also a couple that um, you can purchase if you have $100 or more. So if you have $100, you can purchase one of the free $100 items, or you can purchase two of the $50 or more items. So that's how that works. And oh my gosh, these are so adorbs. I mean, oh my goodness. I have to start with this one because, oh my gosh. Now y'all know that I loved, love, love the horses and the farm animals. And so look at this. This is called Counting Sheep. Oh my gosh, look at the face. Oh, party dancing, jumping over a fence. The little lamb just looking at you. Little party hat, there's grass. It says you're amazing. It says so glad it's your birthday. Aren't these just adorable? So I'll open it up. And so here's what the stamps look like. So you can purchase this if you have a $50 order. If you have a $100 or more order, you can also get the sheep dies that go along with the counting sheep. Look at this, are you ready? Let me flip it over. Are you ready? Look at these. Oh my gosh. So you've got a cutout for e a die for each of the sheep. You've got a sun, you've got a cloud, you've got a balloon, a flag, the hat, and look at that fence. Oh my gosh, you can use that with the hay chicks. You can use it with um, the donkeys. You can use it with any of the animal stamps that we have. I am like over the moon, or should I say over the fence with this stamp and die set. I mean, how cool is that? So you can get both of these for $100 or more order when you order 
from the mini catalog. So another one that is in the celebration catalog is this one and it says feels like home. There you go. Now you can see it. It says, I can't thank you enough. Missing you. Your friendship, your friendship feels like home to me. I am always here. I see. I am always and forever here for you. And look at this stamp. And it's got a little potted plant. It's got vines. Just amazing. And then here's the stamp. So this stamp is a pretty big stamp. It's got the bicycle on it. I mean, you can't go wrong. That stamp set is just adorable. And then there's one more that I got. And this is called Peaceful Prints. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. The plaid reindeer and all the snowflakes. Now, I haven't even opened this up yet. So let me get some scissors out. I haven't even looked to see what's inside all of these. So they're all two-sided. So here we go. You ready? There's the other side. So here's, oh, some like woodland type. To me, that's like trees. But look at this. Oh my gosh. I, I love this paper. And you get a lot. I mean, oh my gosh. So you are getting, I think it's a total, did it say 40 sheets? I'll look again. So here's um, polka dots and trees. Here's green snowflakes. Not quite sure about that, but that would be good for a background or filler paper. And then this one kind of to me looks like, um, ribbing from, from like from knitting and I love this with the reindeer the gray and then look at how cool is that so this one is basic black cherry cobbler garden green real red and Sahara sand so there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve and twelve was twenty-four, so there's twenty-four sheets there. I mean, that's pretty cool. So those are the ones that I got. Oh, I have things just flying everywhere. Out of the celebration catalog. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. And so these are the items that I picked from the new mini catalog. <coughs> so this one is Adoring Designs Decorative Masks. And I, you know, I've kind of got into masks lately. I had a gift certificate from one of our local craft stores and I got some masks, some plaid masks, and I had so much fun. So, let's see. Here is this one. Can you see that? It's just like, to me, I think of it as little four patches because I'm a quilter, but that's pretty cool for a background. Then there's this one, you can use it either way. And then here's this one that you could make your own like candy cane type paper. And then there's this one with all the snow, with a bunch of snowflakes on it. And I love this. I have so many ideas for this one for backgrounds on cards. So that one was called the Adoring Designs Decorative Masks. Okay, so then in my box, I did buy some Smoky Slate um, Stampin' um, ink because I didn't have any gray. 
So that's from the regular catalog. I'm just pulling everything out. And I had to label everything. So this is the number here for this die. And this is called Giving Gifts. And I only bought the die set, but oh my gosh, it has so much potential. If you can see on here, let me get this. Let's see, go this way. It has Santa's sleigh and reindeer. And it has little like holly leaf branch. It has pumpkins. This little one is ornaments. It has snowflakes, um, leaves, and here and here, a little light bulb, a bow, because you can never have enough bows. You know, they don't put bows on a lot of dies, and there's a lot of things I'd like to put a bow on. It has another little um, snowflake, and this one I think is a reindeer. Now I, I didn't buy the stamp set because honestly, I had it written down and I just forgot to enter it on my order. Okay, the next one I got is the Peaceful Angels. And look how cool that is. I just think this is just so beautiful. It says, sometimes angels are just good people with kind hearts. You are an angel. Blessings to you and yours this season and in the coming year, which I love. I just think that's great. And this one says, peace on earth, goodwill towards men. And then so here are the stamps that go with it. And these remind me of the, the girls in the beach stamps in our, in our regular annual catalog. And so I can't wait to play with those. So I'll open it up. And so the big angel, she's really good size. There you go. So I am really impressed with that. I think that one's just amazing. Okay, so let me get this back over here. So that was the Angels of Peace. And then I got this one. It's called Sweets and Treats. And I'm, I'm not a cook. My husband is the cook in the family. He's the, you know, house chef, chef on staff. But I liked this one because it has so much potential. You can use it for birthdays. You could use it for Thanksgiving, for fall, for candy apples. So to me, this is a big bang for your buck because you can use it all year round. Um, it does have a coordinating um, die set for this piece right here. But the other stuff that was in it it wasn't it wasn't my big bang for my buck right now so I didn't get it because I mean to cut out the cloche I think it's called a cloche a cloche something like that anyway you can cut that out by hand no problem so anyway that is the next one. Oh, it says happy birthday bring on Christmas which I thought that one was great a tasty treat for someone sweet and any way you slice it I'm thankful for you and love ya so this one to me is like a two thumbs up, two thumbs up um, stamp set because you can use it all year round, not just for Christmas, not just for, it's just an all year round. Okay, so the next one that I got is a bundle and it is called the Frosted Gingerbread and the Gingerbread Dies. So I'm going to put this one over here. So for the bundle, here's the number for the bundle. And for the stamps only is this number here. And this one's a great, it's just strictly a Christmas one. But, <coughs> excuse me, it says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. You're the icing to my gingerbread. And it's got gingerbread type um, ornaments here. Which one year for Christmas, I decided I was going to cut out little gingerbreads out of brown cardstock. And I took a white marker 
and I tried to draw on them took forever. But now, just use your white embossing powder and you're gonna be done lickety split. So I really liked this set. I thought it would be a fun one to try. They're polymer, and so then here are the stamps here. And it also has this little border die that I thought was just adorable, or stamp, which I thought was adorable. And then here are the gingerbread dies. Put this over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So here's to cut out that border. And so you can cut out just around the dies, or around the stamp, or you can cut out the images here. And in the star, the bell, a snowflake, it has little circles. And those go with the little peppermints here. And then it's got big circles. Oh, the three, that must be for this one right here. So these are for the peppermint. Hmm, I'm not quite sure, I'm gonna have to look at that. But anyway, it's got a lot of circles. But I really liked the um, the bells and the ornaments. I don't have any ornament stamps, so I thought that was pretty cool. Put those off to the side. And so here is the gingerbread and peppermint six by six paper. And oh my gosh, there's forty eight in this piece. So let me get this open. Maybe. You know, some days that wrapper is just smarter than I am. Oy vey. Here we go. So I didn't open it beforehand because I wanted to be just as surprised as you. So look at that. And I bet you the star can be cut out with one of those dies. So there's four each. I'll show you the other sides in a sec. Now, are these Christmassy Christmas or what? I love this one. More bells and snowflakes, bells and snowflakes. in a different colorway. Oh, this one I like, whoop, and there they went. Oh, and there's that, I just love pinstriping um, paper. Just reminds me of candy from when I was a kid. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these back. Gonna flip it the other way. And we'll see the other sides. That's different. I kind of like it. It's a little busy for me, but I kind of like it. I love this. You could use that winter, spring, summer. That one's okay. Oh, I like that for a background paper. This would be good for borders. So there's that. So that's a that's a good that's 48 sheets. And it wasn't that expensive. Okay, and then the piece de resistance that I got was the stocking, the sweet stockings, sweet little stockings collection. The sweet. And sometimes I just don't buy the sweets because it's a lot. And I don't like having just a lot of stuff around. I'm trying to downsize, getting ready to move, and it's a much. But this sweet, I couldn't pass it up. So we'll start with 
the stamps and aren't those just adorable now i have duggies we have whippets so they have little pointed ears but these will do i mean how cute are they it has a little like guinea pig it has a cat it has these stockings um presents it's just kind of got a whole bunch of a lot of little things christmas greetings santa paws is coming to town i mean really how adorable is that it even has a to and from so you can make your own gift tags and i'll show you that in a minute so here's the stamps here so here's about the size of the um the stockings so they're good size to fit on a normal card but wait there's more okay so we have the stockings die set that goes with it <clears throat> so it has its own tag so you can make your to and from gift tags it has little tiny mini tags here it has another little bow which i thought was awesome to cut out all the the faces of here to cut out the faces of the animals it cuts out the the stockings cuts out the presents i mean how cool is that this is an awesome stamp set and die set so this is the stockings dies But wait, there's still more in this suite. Okay, I'm gonna set that off to the side. <coughs> oh, pardon my cough. So in the suite also has the pool party grass green ribbon. I always called it cross. Never knew it was called grass. Ever. Gross, grass, whatever. But anyway, so it's the striped ribbon. And it's in the pool party. So why the pool party? I'm not quite sure because to me that just doesn't scream Christmas, but I'll play with it and find out. Included in the suite, you have these matte decorative dots. You've got red, um, yellow, green. I was gonna write that down on here and I forgot. There's still more. This is just a suite that just keeps on giving. So this is called the Jolly Felt. And I am in love with this Jolly Felt. This is Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, and White. It says white. Oh, there's the white. But look at these. It is like regular crafting felt, but softer. And they're pretty big, so you can get a lot. But to cut out, to use your dies and cut out the stockings, I think would be great. Now, I did read that the dies might dull your stockings, so you don't want to like cut out like hundreds of um, cards or using the dies or the felt with those dies. But I'm sure if you just cut out, you know, a few, you'd be okay. But I am in love with this felt. I just, I can't wait to play with it. So I'm sure that in my Christmas in July, you are gonna see a card using that Jolly felt. Oof, and there's still more. This is called Sweet Stockings. And this is part of the suite also. Let me get all these out of the way. And again, I haven't opened it because I wanted to see it for the first time when you guys see it for the first time. Because all I got to see was pictures in a PDF. And I ordered blind. But I am so excited. So here's the docs. They got little mice, they got cats. I mean, isn't that just adorable? And then what is the flip side? Oh, it's like a stitched cross hatching or diagonal stitching. 
So there's two of those. And then look at all these. All the animals, the dogs, the gerbil, hamster, whatever, the cat, all in stockings. That is just too cute. And then here's the other side. Whew, that's pretty busy, but that would be good for a background paper. I think what I'll do is cut these into six by sixes and go from there. Or if you're doing cards and you really want to get a bang for your buck, you can cut them at four inches, so four, eight, 12, and then cut them down and you get more. You'll get one, two, three, four, six, seven, I think nine. Um, nine cards, um, toppers out of one sheet of paper. I think if I remember right. Somebody told me that the other day. But then here's this one. They got the reef around its head. Antlers on the kitty. I mean, too cute. Woo, that one is really bright on your eyes. And then here are, let me get these out, um, stockings. And I bet you, oops, that's the gingerbread dies. Let me get the stockings out. Of course, I just threw everything back in the box. So, yep, so you can cut these out using your dies that come in the suite. So that's really great. Let's put those down there. So it's on the other side. Oh, that's cool. That would make also a great baby card, like a baby boy card, you know, sleeping, um, a moon, um, jumping over the moon. Oh, with the sheep. Oh, yes, use your sheep for that. Um, little corgis, a cat, a fishbowl. Oh, I love this paper. That is just like traditional green wrapping paper. Ooh, lots of lights. I like that. Oh, and then this blue. How cool is that? I really like that. Not Christmassy. Oh, kind of Christmassy because of the color. But anyway, so that is the sweet stocking. Well, that's everything that I bought, but there is so much more that are in the catalog that I didn't buy. And so on July, August, August 3rd is when I'll be able to share everything in the catalog and open it up and show you the insides. And so as soon as I can do that, I will open it up because it is, it's really an amazing catalog. Even the mini catalog or the celebration catalog, there is so much stuff in it that if I could have spent, you know, a few hundred, like $500 and just went through this and bought everything that I wanted and got all the free stuff out of the celebrations, I would have because there's just so much in it. So anyway, this is a sneak peek of the mini catalog and the celebrations catalog. Um, I will release another Christmas video next Thursday on a Christmas card and it probably be one from the mini catalog, maybe two. And I will see you soon. Make sure you subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notifications of when I release new videos. And also when you subscribe, that helps me share my channel so more people can see what I'm doing. So happy stamping. I'll see you soon.